Hi everybody, Doug Amath from CrunchGear.com and today we're going to be adding one gigabyte of RAM to an Acer Aspire netbook. Don't try this at home unless, like me, you're A-plus certified or have gigantic balls. Made of steel! If so, go ahead. So here we have the back of our Acer Aspire 1 netbook and as you can see I have removed the battery. There are eight screws that we need to remove. Uh, six that are visible, two that are hidden. Here are the visible ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight under these rubber feet. So I'm going to delicately and daintily pry the rubber feet off. So we have three tabs underneath the keyboard and they are located right here between F1 and F2, right here above F8 and right here between the pause break and insert buttons. So if you have two small flathead screwdrivers, you can use one to push the tab and another to pull up on the keyboard. This is what we call the hard part. Okay, so I've got our keyboard undone. I can lift it up and I can see I made some chip marks along the top, but you know what? No one's going to know but you. And then once underneath, you need to delicately remove the keyboard ribbon here. It's okay, it's okay. I didn't break anything, I just got this thing out of its... What's it here? Once we've got the keyboard detached, here are the screws that we need to remove. There's one here, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we need to remove the trackpad cable too. So let's do the screws first. Okay, now we need to remove the plastic around the netbook, which not my favorite part of disassembling notebooks in general. You want to do this with your hands so you don't chip anything. I just kind of slide my fingernail around the creases. And boom, you're, whole, you're home free. Um, the nice thing about this top part is after you get the screws in the uh, touchpad and the computer and the keyboard cable unhooked there's no other cables coming up through that you have to worry about so put this to the side okay so now that we've got this part exposed this section we need to remove this tricolored cable and we need to move this ribbon cable right here make sure to lift up not out like I did with the keyboard. Just a quick flip up. So maybe this one. And 
this one. I can remove this here. That's the Wi-Fi module. So I unhooked this cable, not unhooked, but it was just kind of wedged in there. And make sure you get this blue tab uh, detached, and then you can get, get a little more wiggle room. See the RAM slot in here? Right in there. So take your stick of RAM. Remember how RAM works, you gotta put it in an angle and then snap. Make sure that's all the way in. It is. Now we get to reattach everything. I will let you do that yourself. Just go in reverse order. So once you've got everything put back together, you can double check your work by going into the BIOS by uh, tapping F2 as the computer boots and then going over to this main tab here and you should see total memory should be 1536. So there you have it. Adding a gigabyte of RAM makes the Acer Aspire netbook much faster. Hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. Because I just had a little bit of fun. So if you just had a little bit of fun watching it, that's all I care about. I'm Doug Amos. See you later.